Alright, so you can keep picking until you run out of vouchers. And it's going to take out a voucher every time you uh, pick one. It is easier to just go and lock the safe before you come over here, so you can just get them all at once. But you can come back. As long as you have vouchers, you can keep coming back there. I assume if you cheated in, you know, a hundred vouchers, then you could uh, get a hundred different kinds of mentats, but I don't know why. They're not they're not too terribly helpful. I've never used I've never used them, but uh, let's check them out just so you guys know what they are. Berry mentats increase intelligence plus five. Um, grape mentats increase charisma plus five. And the orange mentats increase perception plus five. So there you go. If you need any of those intelligence, charisma, or perception increased, that's uh, what you use. And my game decided to try and freeze. Stupid game. Be right back, so recording audio is in sync, hopefully. Alright, so... I'm back, I think. I'm actually going to make a permanent save, and I'm going to go check make sure that the recording's right. So I'll be right back again. Alright, so I'm back. Um, while the game is getting used to recording again, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, stats for the Ranger uh, armor, because I failed to do that last time, I guess. But, uh, so yeah, the damage reduction, or damage resistance, whatever it's called, is variable depending on how repaired the, game, uh, the armor is. So right now it's 34, which is still really good armor armor damage resistance. I think it goes up to, uh, what is it, 38, maybe 40, somewhere in there. I don't, I don't remember the specific number when it's maxed out, but yeah, it's really good. It's, a, it's the best armor you can get aside from power armor in terms of damage reduction. It's the best regular armor you can get, um, but the stats are pretty amazing. The effects it gives uh, action points plus five for VATs the amount of points you get to use for shooting, which is pretty awesome. Luck plus one, and small guns plus ten. That's the main reason why I like the ranger armor, is for the effects more than the damage resistance, but the damage resistance is nice, because it's pretty much the best you can get short of power armor. And since we can't use power armor n right now, well, there you go. <laughs> this is the best armor we can get. And the stats that it gives is in my opinion, better than most of the power armors anyway, so... And it's more easily repaired, because it uh, gets repaired by... It gets repaired by combat armor and Talon comp company armor, and there's some mines in here that I've left in case the super mutants come. Because here's the ambush. It's starting right now. I'm just kind of waiting out for them right now. should be starting. Lock and load. They'll be here any second. There we go. You got to get back there to trigger it. I'm hoping they set off some of the mines. We'll get them. Oh. Come on, just die. Oh. 
kill the stupid thing already. You to mess with me. Thank you. All right. So anyways, yeah. Now we can talk to her, but um I'm going to kind of wait if it'll let me. Because I'm going to go disarm these mines that didn't go off. And loot the uh, mutants. Not a good idea. What's not a good idea? Shut up. Mutants are all dead. So anyway, yeah, there's the big ambush. I can only imagine that the mutants that we've killed before this would have come along with them. But maybe not, I don't know. I won't say that for sure because like I said I always kill them before, but it wouldn't surprise me if they would show up and make the ambush that much more worse. Uh, you could have set up some mines along in here in this walkway where they came from to kind of help slow them down. I would have, but I didn't think of it, to be honest, until the ambush started, and I was like, oh, I could have set up some mines too, but... Yeah, whatever. Uh, this place really comes in handy to have the light step perk because there's mines, like, everywhere. Sydney, the... That's the lady over there. Um, she set up mines, like, everywhere around here. Apparently she's fairly paranoid about the super mutants, so... Yeah, see there's a couple mines right here. Now you can get through this area without the light step perk, but you have to be really, really on your guard. And I'm not even really for sure where all of the mines are. <laughs> I just know where... I just know that they're around, so... But like, I, like I've said, I have the light step perk, so it doesn't really matter too much if I... don't get them all, I guess. I'm mostly trying to get them, so in case Sydney starts following us around, she won't hopefully set them off. I don't know if she can set them off, because I think she's the one that set them, so... She's probably immune to setting these ones off, but... Uh, at least I would hope so. But it's better to be safe than sorry, I imagine. Now this is her computer and it requires a key to get into. You just can't get into uh just can't get into it on your own, but talking to her she'll give you the permission to get in it which we will get to shortly see there's another mine I missed so they are just all over the place Here's some more. Keep in mind that if you set any one of these off, if they're next to another one like that, they're going to set off a chain reaction of them, which would suck. I'm pretty sure like all four of those would have gone off if they'd have been set off. But they're easy experience for... Uh, getting them if you can especially with the light step perk it's just like free experience now because they serve no real viable danger unless somebody else is around to set them off I think we pretty much got them all looks like 
Alright, so we might as well talk to her, I guess. Hello, Sydney. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Of course I am. Uh, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. Um, what do you mean, fellow relic hunter? Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. The only problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. Uh... Hang on there, you need to tell me who you are before I agree to anything. I told you already. I'm a relic hunter, just like you. I turn bits of trash into caps, and then get my ass drunk. I've studied the plans to this place. So without me, you're going to go in circles. What do you say? Sure, let's team up. <laughs> Why not? Smart move. Okay. The Declaration is secured in the Archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password, and let's get going. Okay, so, uh... If you get lost during this quest, it's kind of hard to, but if you do, um... You can ask her directions every so often, and she'll she'll kind of help to guide you a little bit. Um, what's our next move? There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. It should take us directly down to the lower levels. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, we the people. What do you know about the Declaration of Independence? All I know is that it looks like a rolled-up piece of thick paper with all kinds of writing on it. Some famous document from a long time ago. Abraham Washington is a huge U.S. history nut. So, that's why he wants it so badly. In case you forgot, Abraham Washington's the guy in Rivet City that gave us this quest to begin with. He owns a museum there. Uh, since we're partners now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Ha! <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually, everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? Uh, how did you get into the relic hunting business? I don't know. I grew up like pretty much every other girl in this crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body, I found info leading to some famous document. I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, and was happy for the first time in a while. I haven't looked back since. Nice gun. I've never seen one like that. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. Yeah, keep that gun in mind for later, people. <laughs> um, you recovered all of that stuff in the Preservation Society's museum? Oh, no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade-A crap in that place. Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. What happened to your father? Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe when I get to trust you better. Okay, fine, be that way. Okay. <laughs> 